Welcome to the latest episode of Chris Cast. My name is Chris Abraham. I believe that this is episode five. I call it Obad. Episode five, Chris Cast. Obad, Omad. I F, Mofo. Today we're talking about uh, intermittent fasting diets. In particular, we're talking about one meal a day. So, for any number of reasons, considering that I am morbidly obese and that I emotionally eat and that I want to save money and that I love burritos and that I find it really easy to only eat one meal a day like a giant egg-eating snake who can unhinge its jaw, take a giant egg into its mouth, use a special tooth to crack that egg, and then slowly consume, digest, and thrive off the yolk and the whites, and then expel the shell. I have been experimenting with eating one burrito bros burrito a day. Uh, When I search for burritos with everything on them, on MyFitnessPal, I don't find anything more than 1,455 or 1,500 calories, kilocals. And since my diet framework, if I don't follow low-carb macros, uh, allows 1,500 or encourages, dare say, nay, nay, encourages 1,500 calories a day for uh, weight loss. I have been, at least for the last few days, eating um, one chicken burrito with tortilla and cheese and half and half black beans and pinto and some of uh, some some rice and sour cream and guacamole and pico de gallo and salsa and the corn pico and the cucumber pico and some lettuce and all that other stuff that's in a um, quasi uh, Tex-Mexy kind of burrito, a street burrito. And today I had a steak one with all the other stuff in it. And it's a big burrito. It's a Chipotle size, like, you know, gut buster burrito. But when I add even the biggest burrito, uh, I don't have the exact calories, but it comes to be in 1,400 calories, 1,450. And when I add in a, um, a Latinx uh, Mexican type of coconut water with a chunky coconut in it, it's another, you know, 170 calories. And so I'm around between 100, uh, 1,500 and 1,600 kilocals per meal and then after that and after fighting through uh, afternoon doldrums of my entire body wanting to uh, crawl into a small dark warm cold space and digest that food I don't eat anything else um, until the next day uh, 23 to 23 and 45 minutes later I have yet to see any real evolution, any real change. I might have the calories way off. My body might not be dealing with it well. But when I did the macros, it seems to be everything that a, a growing or reducing body needs. It has happy, happy beans. It's got vegetables. It's got, um, it's got beans and rice mix. It's got uh, chicken or steak. It has a little bit of, uh, it has not that much wheat in the tortilla. Um, 
It has uh, has guacamole. It has sour cream. It's got those kinds of fats. And so I think it's probably a holistically good thing. Other than that, and the, you know, arguably not best for me, coconut water, uh, which, you know, is included during the a time that I'm allowed to eat food. Other than that, it's just black coffee and water. And lots of water. Uh, in addition, I will, you know, eat the... Uh, in addition, I will eat the, um, uh, in addition, I will eat in the morning, a uh, couple multivitamins and whatever medicines I take. And aside from that, it's just water, 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 coffee. And then, uh, 23 hours and 45 minutes later, it's, uh, it's another burrito. I'm not bored by it. I'm not looking for diversity. Uh, the real diversity that I might want is maybe schlepping the extra mile and going to Chipotle to get a burrito there. I'm thinking one of the variants that I would have was go would be going to Whole Foods and filling up on 1,500 calories in one meal on their prepared food, which includes you know pulled pork and and sautéed vegetables, and fresh vegetables, and a, a full uh, a full salad bar, and all that other kind of stuff. Um, because I'm not going for the whole keto thing, I'm not that interested in like, you know, a one chicken a day diet, uh, or anything like that. Uh, and you know, when I bring food into the house, I tend to eat between meals, so... Buying a bunch of chicken, a bunch of spinach, and a bunch of this and a bunch of that. And even freezing it and all that other kind of stuff. I tend to I tend to overeat, so I'm keeping the apartment clean of that kind of external foods. And I will report back to you to let you know how it goes. I don't seem to be having cravings. Apparently, spiritually my spiritual animal is in fact a, uh, a a boa constrictor or an anaconda or a an egg eating or you know what my spirit animal is to be honest with you it's not only a monitor lizard it is a komodo dragon those are like my friend mark says those are festering festering dirt mouth monsters that uh, do not win by being aggressive or strong or fast or quick. They only take a little bit of a little bit of a swipe at your leg, infect you with disgustingness, and then wait for you to die. And by dying, I mean being wrapped up in a habanero tortilla, slathered in sour cream and guacamole, and squirted on with uh, chipotle and peach salsa with guacamole at two dollars extra and sour cream and melted cheese and a habanero tortilla anyway what do you think do you think it's crazy do you think that maybe i'm eating more than 1500 calories in a uh, a uh, giant modern um, Chipotle uh, or Burrito Brothers Burrito or do you think that over time the value of the keto diet uh, sorry the value of the intermittent fasting uh, where I only eat once a day and then let my body digest for 23 hours and 45 minutes work oh shout out to the uh, Android and, uh, and iPhone uh, iOS app called Vora for helping me track and of course thank you to Under Armour the overlords of my fitness pal um, and damn you straight to hell if uh, you're giving me the wrong number of calories for these particular things so let me know what do you think of a one meal a day one burrito a day intermittent fasting uh, giant giant calorie bomb to your belly put it in my put it in my belly 
put it in, put it in my belly type of uh, crazy diet. I understand it's a fad. If you want to know more about my crazy fad diets and my attempt at lying to you about all the athletic stuff that I do on a daily basis, check out www.rnnr.us and you will see, you will see, it'll be evident. I will be posting this on there as well as my own personal blog, uh, blog, chrisabraham.com under podcasts, but you'll be able to see it in the news section. And I love you. I need you. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for listening. I'm about to put on my Hill People Gear kit bag and my Camelback water pack. And I'm going to go on a 90-minute forced march to get my steps in. And I'm going to track it on my 910 XT as a run. And then when I upload it, I'm going to change it to a walk because really that's what I'm going to be doing today. I have yet to evolve from my walk. Uh, I'm still 330-something pounds. So I'd like to get a little bit more weight off me before I... Um, advance to my Cliff Young shuffle, my zombie shuffle, and ultimately my haggard joggy walk run, and then ultimately to my what I think is a lith run, but m- still makes me back of the pack. Back of the pack. Good news is that when I'm back of the pack, I'm not DFL, but I'm not too proud. I'm happy to be DFL. And if you want to know what DFL is, you better do your own search because I don't want to be considered anything but clean on these podcasts. So I'll talk to you soon. Goodbye. Oh, you can reach me at chrisabraham.com. My company's Garris Corp at G-E-R-R.is. Uh, you can reach me at chris at abraham.su. You can text me at plus one two zero two three five two five zero five one, and on all the social media channels, I'm uh, at Chris Abraham. Thank you very much. Mahalo, nui loa, aloha, ciao, alfida zain, arrivederci, um, hasta luego, hasta mañana, abiento, a tutalor, ciao, bella.